All right, so I want to make sure that everyone is clear how to get to your online course content. The easiest way is you, um, well, the only way is to go through Power Schools, and the easiest way to get to Power Schools is to go to channelsideacademy.com, and up at the top, these quick links right here, if you just hover your mouse over it, one of them is Power Schools. You'll click that, and that's how you log in. And remember, um, for, I think for everyone, the username is your student ID number, and the password is your first name, um, all capitalized. So that's what you'll use to log in. And if your login is not working, you want to get with the main office, Ms. Lynch or Ms. Hale, those are the people who can help uh, adjust and fix any login issues. So get logged in, and then you'll be in your PowerSchools account, and I'm going to show you what you do from there. Okay, so once you're logged into PowerSchools, I'm only showing part of the page because I'm using um, a particular student's login. I just want to show anything. But once you're logged into PowerSchools, this is the left part of the screen that you'll be seeing. And down here on the bottom left, you're going to click on Pearson Courses. So click Pearson Courses. Once you click on Pearson Courses, it'll bring you to a page that says it'll list your classes that have products on Pearson Courses. You will eventually have science showing up here as well, I believe, but I know everyone should have math showing up. So you'll see your class right here, and you might have to click this arrow to, to reveal the product. So when you go here, you've got two options. You can click if you just want to see the textbook and none of the lessons and videos and helpful interactive things. If you just want to see the book, you can click Pearson eText for Schools. So that's what I'm going to do now just to give you a quick view of it. So if you click Pearson eText for Schools, you're going to choose the one on, the, I believe the one on the far left is the one that has everything. So I believe that stands for non-common core, but uh, even though we are using Florida State standards, the book is essentially the same, just this book won't have the standards listed. But this is the one that will have at least the complete book. So when you click on it, it'll take a moment to load, but when it does, you'll be able to browse through the book. You'll be able to type in page numbers. So for example, here you can type in the page number you want to go to. So if you know you had a review, for example, or you needed, or you needed to have a lesson, you can hit forward, backwards. Um, so if you have an assignment out of your book, you can go to that page number and you can see those questions. Now you won't be able to print from here, but you could take a screenshot, I think, but at least you can still write down the questions and do them. And this will let you go through the actual book and see the lessons and the examples. So there's not really anything interactive here other than being able to just get and see the book. But sometimes getting to see the book and see the examples in an organized manner can be a big help. So now I'm going to show you what, what is the more useful way of getting to the online resources, which is where you'll find your online assignments that are inside. So instead of clicking on the Pearson eText for schools, instead I want you to click on the product underneath our class. It'll say Envision Math and it'll say your grade that you're in. So this particular account I'm using just happens to be a sixth grade account. That's why it's saying, showing grade six math. So you'll click that. And the first time that you click that, it's going to ask you to customize your experience where you'll choose your icon and then you'll choose your background image like this person shows the butterflies and stuff. And so choose whatever that and then you'll click at the bottom and get started. Once science is set up, you'll have two, more than one program available right here. But if you only have one, it'll just say view program. But if you have two, this, will, this should say view all programs. And then you'll be able to get to math and science once the science is set up. So you'll click view program. And once you go here, you're now in the online resources that come with your book. So you can browse things by topics. Remember, they call them topics instead of chapters. You can browse things. And you can also find assignments that are assigned. So for example, let me adjust the screen a little bit. You, at the top, if you want to see what assignments are assigned, you'll click Classes. And if you click on Classes, it'll show you what assignments are available to you. So for example, right now, I've created just an assignment for each lesson. It looks like I actually made two different ones for the same lesson. But um, if there's a lesson that you have a low score in or you're missing the homework on it when we did it from the book, if you want to improve your score or replace your score, especially if it was missing or it was really low, do the assignment for that lesson. So make sure you're doing the ones that you need to help you improve your skills where you need them. And these assignments will let you redo your wrong questions. They'll help give you help. They'll offer you videos and stuff to help you with the questions. So there's a lot of resources that are available to you using this website. So as of the recording of this video, September 14th, the assignments I made on here um, for your class, you may have more listed if you're in a different class that has more lessons already. They are optional as of this moment because you're just using them to study additionally or improve your scores or replace your scores. But in the future, moving forward, they are going to be mandatory. This is where your regular assignments are going to be. So you want to make sure you know how to get to them. 
So I want to take a moment to show you some of the things that you might find um, just by browsing through the topics or the chapters. So if you hit topic one, it's going to bring you and it's going to now break everything down by the lessons. So let's say you're having trouble with um, multiplying fractions that includes like the mixed numbers and stuff um, if you're in this class. So you can see some of the examples and things from the book. Um, that's what some of these are. But now you also have what's really important are these that, I, that you can click on are these virtual nerd videos. These help you um, look at examples of doing it. But So let, let me click on to show you what I mean. So let's say how do you multiply mixed numbers. Let's say you, you need help with multiplying mixed numbers. So you'll click on it, open a new window. So it brings you here. So here's one of the cool things. It's going to be someone explaining it. So there's a video you can hit play. But my favorite part about it is if you look at the outline of what it's talking about, you'll notice these little links popping up. So for example, if this lesson is multiplying mixed numbers, but you're like, wait, what is a mixed number? You'll notice over, over right here, there's an option for what is a mixed fraction. And if you click on that, it's going to take you to a video that explains what is a mixed number to begin with to help you understand. Um, or if what is an improper fraction, if you just don't know what that is. So using this resource, it really helps fill in any gaps. If there's something you don't know um, for this skill, if there's something you're not sure about, it'll. if you hover over these steps over here, you'll see things to click on to get more information about that topic. Like maybe you just need how you just need trouble. You're having trouble with how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. So if you're having trouble with converting mixed numbers to improper fractions, just that skill, which you need by the way for this example, you would click on it. When you click on it, it's going to bring up a video that's how to convert um, the mixed numbers to improper fractions. And the way I'm doing it, all these tabs, it's opening up new tabs or new windows for each of these skills. So it allows you to get help with. Um, deeper or older skills that you need or if you don't need any of those other things you can just watch the video and follow along and take notes and help get some information from it to help you with your assignments so this virtual nerd resource is good because it has good clear explanations but what i really is important about it is it helps you backtrack and connect concepts and skills if there's other things you don't know like how to reduce a fraction if you don't remember how to reduce a fraction this video goes through it in this video they do it quickly but if you need more explanation on how to reduce a fraction you can click on this link once you hover over it how to reduce a fraction and then also some tips with with some fine fractions what are some thing what are some ways to tell if you can simplify by two three five six or ten for example so it has other related things that can help you with that skill all right guys so I really want to show you the virtual nerd thing with these connected videos and how you get to other topics to help you because if you take the time to explore you can get a lot of help through using this resource so um, do your assignments on here and also going through these videos also, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is just when you click on an assignment it'll, that you can do online and actually submit your answers online, I want to give you an idea of what it looks like real quick just to give you a run through. You, This is after you click on one of those assignments when you hit the class view. So let's say you want to do the 1.3 assignment, hit start. So it's going to bring up questions for you to work on. And if you need help with it, you'll notice that you have the option to ask for to ask for help with the skill. You can hit question help, and it'll help you solve it with hints and steps. You can view an example. Or if you click video, that'll take you to the, the virtual nerd of that stuff I just showed you to explain this concept. And so it'll definitely help you work through some of it. You also have a glossary of key terms you can look up. So you can get to the help in with from within the assignments as well. And so once you submit an assignment, it, it'll tell you your score and then it'll, it'll give you an opportunity if you want to redo it um, in order to improve your skills. Alrighty, so this was your, your overall overview and tour of using the Envision Math resource through your Pearson courses that you get to through Power Schools. So you go to channelsideacademy.com, you use the quick links, go to Power Schools. I would just bookmark that page to log into Power Schools if I were you. And then once you're in Power Schools, you go to the bottom left and you click Pearson courses. And then you, Pearson Courses, you will then click on Envision Math, and that'll bring you to this website right now. And this is where you want to be able to get, get to on a regular basis. All right, I hope this has helped, and I wish everyone luck, and make sure you're using this resource. It's a good one.